What's up, y'all? This is Rodney, and I'm back. I'm still celebrating my birthday. We went live yesterday. We had a good time. Um, I actually had a bottle of champagne that I wanted to pop uh, on live, and then I got nervous because the last time I opened up a bottle of champagne, I made a mess, <laughs> okay? And I was just like, I don't feel like doing all of that tonight. So I had a bottle of champagne, and then I had my bottle of vodka. And I just decided to drink the vodka instead of opening the champagne. It's just making a mess like I did last time. So I popped it tonight. And I, I decided to pour me a few glasses. So listen to this. Cardi B, Stefan Diggs, and Chris Blake Griffith. I have never heard of Chris Blake Griffith a day in my life. This is a mess. It's so crazy because I was talking to one of my friends and I forgot how Stefan came up into the conversation. I know I brought him up into the conversation because my friend didn't know who he was. And so I was basically talking about Stefan and I was like, girl, he's so fine, he's so cute to me. And so I sent a picture of him to my friend and my friend was like, oh. <laughs> He was like, I don't see it. <laughs> well, I see it. Okay, I see it. And I was like, that's my man, my man, my man. Um, and I was telling him how he plays football and how I think he plays for the Houston Texans now and all that stuff. Um, I first saw him at the Met Gala. And then I went to his Instagram page. And I was like, oh, he has a cute little style. It's like kind of like that hip punk grunge. I can't explain it type of style. It's not my style, but I love it. I thought I think it's fly. Um, and so I would go to his Instagram page. He didn't have a lot of pictures. He didn't have a lot of posts. And so I would go to his Instagram page every now and again just to see. And I remember he came out with a pair of shoes. Um, he linked up with, uh, I think it was Asics. And he came out with a pair of shoes. And the shoes are actually really cute. And so... We were talking the other day. He was like, I think your man, I think your man is smashing Cardi B. I said, who? <laughs> I said, who? He was like, the guy who you were talking about the other day? I was like, you lying. He was like, no. He was like, I think that's what the, that's what the people are saying, that supposedly that that's the person who Cardi B um, has sex with. I also noticed, did I say that I noticed that his page has been private for like the last three weeks, maybe three, four weeks? It was public before then. And now he only has three posts also. Before, he did not have a lot of posts. But before, I'll say he probably had about 20 to 30. It wasn't a lot. But now when you go to his page, it's private. And you see he only has three. Now, the three I don't know because I don't follow him. You see? So, Cardi B came out. And this is what Cardi B had to say about being linked to Stefan Diggs. This is according to the Jasmine brand. <laughs> so, Cardi B seemingly speaks on rumored affair with Stefan Diggs. I think it's cute. Rap star Cardi B uh, doesn't seem too bothered by rumors of her being romantically involved with NFL star Stefan Diggs while married to her estranged husband, Offset. Um, during a recent live stream, the 31-year-old appeared to reference the speculation, stating, all these rumors are so effing crazy, that's why I don't want to address it because I feel like it's funny. I'm going to just let it ride out because I think it's cute. It's funny. A report from Hip Hop uh, I'm sorry, hot new hip hop states that Cardi's remarks came shortly after G DJ Academics alleged that she cheated on Offset with an NFL player name dropping Diggs, 30. And that's another thing, too. Girl, I thought he was, I was just like, oh, he cute. And I kind of left it alone. And then when, once I found he was 30, I was like, oh, now 30 still young, but baby, you know, we could, we could do a little tug and pull. <laughs> okay. Anyway, um, if you recall, Offset first accused his spouse of six years of having sex with someone else while she was pregnant with her third child. Girl, <laughs> girl, you was having sex with somebody else when she was pregnant with her third child, so what's the problem? Anyways, um, who she gave birth to last month. 
Cardi appeared to corroborate the uh, corroborate the claim writing on her ex account uh, shortly after and did. It does not appear that Offset nor Diggs have publicly com uh, commented on the matter at this time. So that's the story with Offset. I mean, not Offset with Stefan Diggs and Cardi B. Now, this is where it gets a little messy. <laughs> okay. So the other day. I'm down to the Instagram and the headline read, this is according to the neighborhood talk. What Chris Blake Griffith accuses Stefan Diggs of D R U G G I N G him and trying to have sex with him claims it played a part in him getting jumped by Stefan's brother. They likely wanted my mouth closed about the closeted receiver. I said, oh my God today. <clears throat> Neighbors, this story continues to get crazier. Chris Blake Griffith, that previously sued Stefan Diggs' brother for an elevator ambush, claims things are a bit deeper than they seem. In response to discourse, uh, discourse about post on his Instagram story, Griffith detailed to go, I'm sorry, decided to go into detail about the altercation and his background with Stefan. He claims that a rift was formed after Stefan allegedly D-R-U-G-G-E'd him and attempted to have sex with him. Griffith says Derez Diggs noticed that the two were no longer affiliated and then plotted the attack and robbery. Chris believes it was some attempt to cover up Stefan's alleged secret. Stefan, baby, you don't have to. <laughs> Stefan, baby, if you wanted to do a little tug and pull, you don't have to drug nobody, baby. Okay, you could have came and just knocked my. You could have came and knocked on my door. But I'm big and black. He like I'm skinny and light skin, so I guess I don't make the cut. <laughs> okay. Weeks later, after his failed sexual attempt on me, I'm going to read his, uh, no, I'm going to read his full um, thingy. Okay. This is what he had to say. Let me make this bigger so I can see. Okay. This is my life we're talking about. I don't know what you do with yours, but I be doing some ish with mine. So it means something. I'm speaking from the perspective of fact. So to denounce the spreading of any misinformation, here's a synopsis. I'm familiar with Marshawn because of his half-brother. I was designing Liam Home, his half-brother's clothing line that resembles that of Forever 21's men's line. And Marshawn used to run my errands per his half-brother's demands as I worked on the line. We didn't work in close proximity, but he was around. The other guys, I don't know. Hello. Um, the derivative of all this ish is that Stefan tried to D-R-U-G me and then have sex with me and I escaped unscathed. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, ain't Jesus good? Amen. <laughs> but I now know his secret and that didn't sit well with him. Weeks later after his failed sexual attempt on me because I don't play like that and never have, Marshawn realized that I was no longer affiliated with his half brother, and because he's broke, not even being funny, like actual, like actual, actual, wait, like actually doesn't have any money. Plus, has three kids. Stefan doesn't take care of him because he didn't meet him until he was twelve years old or something like that. He saw a gap in what was once a strong relationship between his brother and I, and I tried to hold up. Sorry, y'all. Right. And tried to okay, I have right. and tried to rob and tried to rob my crib for my Chrome Hearts collection and more jackets with one hundred plus crosses, multiple bags, etc., 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 etc. 
first thing he said when I got off the elevator was, what's up with all that Chrome-ish? Him and his two crash outs, he tagged, he tagged in to help him, didn't even give a damn about no cameras because they likely wanted my mouth closed about the closeted receiver and wanted to unalive me and leave me in my apartment after they cleared it clean of all my valuables. And that ain't even all the tea. Come on, T. That's what he said. <laughs> Y'all see it on the screen. And that ain't even all the tea. <laughs> I know that's right. Hmm. <laughs> Let me stop being messy. But everybody knows so much. They going to run a narrative about theft to protect the fact that he D-R-U-G-G-E-D'd me and then tried to try me. But unlike the fruitful thinker, but unlike the fruitful thinker, I respectfully live my life as a 100% straight man that doesn't dabble in experimentation, unlike him. But the truth, ain't nothing wrong with experimentation. Ain't nothing wrong with experimentation. Um, it'll surface as need be. I produce receipts like a printer. But y'all can continue in the comments telling me more about my life. I didn't know all this stuff. I didn't know the boy had got jumped. And when I put the boy's name into the Google, girl there was he got jumped and also there's video i'm not playing no fighting videos over here but there's he posted the videos of him being jumped on his story um so he definitely got jumped <sighs> listen i believe chris this is the thing because i know somebody gonna say it so i'm gonna go ahead and just address it right now it's not about trying to make everybody gay. <laughs> but I do believe, and this is no shade, I say this with love, there are a group of you out there that don't want to believe that men, that the men who you may be attracted to and may have sex with, they also have sex with other men. You don't want to believe that the men who could possibly pass for straight like knuckles <laughs> you don't want to believe that when you bend over for a man that there's a possibility that he's leaving and getting bent over <laughs> okay <laughs> i'm just saying there are people out there who have a certain idea of how a gay man a gay man presents himself and so when you find out that there are certain men out there who, and I'm not saying you think that Stefan is straight because you could think he gay. Okay, well, clearly. Okay. But I just think that this boy is not lying. I believe he's telling the truth about him being drugged. You don't hear a lot of men come out and tell these stories. I think it's very important that they do. And especially when those men identify as straight, it's really hard for those men to come out and say, I was almost taken advantage of by another knuckle. Stefan, you got some explaining to do. Your Instagram been on private and locked for about three, four weeks. You went from having 20, 30 posts to only having three. This boy is posting receipts of you supposedly wearing his stuff. He also posted receipts of him getting his ass whooped. Let me tell y'all something. We've had this conversation before. Oh, girl, is my microphone on? I almost had a fit. I did not see that light, okay? The person who has the money, they have the power. Stefan has the money, he has the power. So these other people, girl, they're going to make sure, because Stefan can't come out and say he no punk. Stefan, Stefan is an NFL <laughs> uh, player, okay? He can't come out and say he gay. Y'all already know what's going to happen. 
So I understand him if he is gay, not wanting to come out. What I don't understand is you putting stuff in people's drinks or her drug on the girls. That's where your ass need to be in jail, if it is true. And I think it is. So that ain't my man no more. Y'all be doing too much. See, every time I make y'all my man, I think, girl, girl, come out, girl, y'all ain't no good. Y'all ain't no good. Y'all move, y'all move real, y'all y'all move real suspect in these streets. Y'all need to get it together. Chris, uh, Chris, girl, I hope you seek justice. I hope you get your stuff back. Quiet as it's kept, you need to be suing. Hmm. You say you got receipts. Anyways, so <laughs> Jaguar Wright, Beyonce, um, Jay Z, <laughs> Piers Morgan. I don't pay attention to Jaguar Wright. I don't. Um, I've heard people talk about the things that she said. I've heard some of the things that she said. But I don't pay attention to Jaguar like that. Do I believe everything that comes out of Jaguar's mouth? Absolutely not. Do I believe that it's easy for people to dismiss what Jaguar says? Because she struggles with mental health issues, I absolutely do. Do I think Jack Wire lies? I do. <laughs> do I think she tells the truth? I do. Now, whether does she tell does she tell more lies than truths? I don't know. Now. They say Jaguar went over to Piers Morgan's show and did a whole bunch of carrying on. Jay-Z and Beyonce shut it down. <laughs> and they had that white man on TV apologizing. Because I know that's right. Okay. <laughs> Jay-Z and Beyonce, they don't ever address anybody or anything. Hell, I was even surprised when they came out and talked about the elevator, elevator gate with Solange. Because again, they don't address people. <laughs> Girl, right. Girl, I'm I'm be I'm 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 Beyonce and my husband is Jay-Z. I'm not addressing you peasants. <laughs> That's what they give. So I was surprised that. Not only are they addressing this, not person, not them personally, but the people that work for them. But they all, their lawyer was also down to TMZ conducting an interview. I was surprised. We're going to play some of the, uh, some of the, uh, some of the audio. Again, I think it's easy to dismiss what Jaguar says because she has from what I understand, some health, mental health issues. I believe that health would be lying. I do. Do I think that Beyonce be out here at the parties doing all the carrying on at the freak offs? No. Do I think that back in the day, Jay-Z used to do some carrying on? I do think that. <laughs> do I think that Jay-Z hurried up and found him a wife and had some kids and got out of that mess? I absolutely do. Now, I don't know this to be factual. This is just what I think. You know how people say when they see girls who they call hoes and they say birds of a feather flock together? I believe Jay-Z was smart enough to get his ass out of that shit and go find him a wife, have some kids, 
and sit his ass down and be still. But do I believe that Jay-Z is clean? I absolutely don't. Do I believe he was as bad as Puff Daddy? I absolutely don't. But do I think he has some dirt underneath his fingernails? I absolutely do. Does he have some dirt underneath his shoes? I absolutely do. <laughs> okay. So listen to what their lawyer had to say down to TMZ. That somebody comes on uh, a show and then kind of levels these vague-ish allegations. Were you kind of ready for something like this to eventually happen? Listen, there's rumors and then there's nonsense, and this is one step further, right? This is a pointed and formal accusation of something, um, and um, I felt it needed to be responded to. So I think somebody reported it was a cease and desist. It, it wasn't that. It was uh, quite bluntly an ultimatum, which is remove that false accusation um, that's demonstrably false, um, or a court's going to order you to. And no, so right. I think he made the wise choice and acted accordingly. He meaning Piers Morgan. Removing it and apologizing for it, yes. What changed here in my mind is that somebody on a so-called journalistic platform exploited that kind of random rumor mill, whether it's disconnected from reality or what have you, and lifted it up. Um, and by doing that, you know, they not only caused harm here, but they are also droning out the voices of real victims. And by doing that to get clicks, it didn't just harm the Carters. What 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 he did effectively was to drone out the voices of, of actual victims in, in an ongoing case and an ongoing investigation. And that was that was too much for me. Are you in the process of making sure that it is taken down everywhere? What I am here to say is that in a situation as serious as this, um, as somebody who puts themselves out as a journalist should not effectively take advantage of the situation and exploit somebody in this way. Um, and so that's that's the real reason for action. Does it does it strike you a little bit that there's been a lot of silence uh, in Hollywood in the wake of all of this? Well, as to the Carters, you know, I can tell you that when they put their foot down on something as they did here, you know, they are sending a message. And if they can't stand up and, and make sure right from wrong, then who can? I've always believed that the truth will come out in courtroom. I do believe that. I do believe that this is a clear message, especially to those in mainstream mainstream media that basically fuck around and find out. Um, if you're going to have someone on your platform um, making these type of salacious claims, girl, she better have receipts on top of receipts on top of receipts. You know what I'm saying? Um, Jaguar with her background, and I'm not making light of mental health issues, but girl, I've heard some things that people be online saying Jaguar be doing some. Ugh. So when you have, when you take all that that into account, it's easy for people to dismiss what she's saying. So if you're gonna have someone come onto your show, even if they girl don't have any mental health issues, girl, when you going against somebody like Jay Z and Beyonce who have a lot of power, a lot of access, and a lot of resource, girl, you better have some type of, you better have some type of receipt. <sighs> Can I say something? And I don't want anybody to take this the wrong way. Jay-Z and Beyonce are not worried about nobody on YouTube, <laughs> girl, or TikTok, <laughs> okay? They are worried that Jaguar now has access to this type of platform. This is now... This can now reach millions of people, right? I, I'm not saying that us as YouTubers don't matter but because we do, but Jay-Z not worried about nobody on YouTube. <laughs> Jag Wilder did how many interviews? <laughs> okay. On oh, how many folks' channels? Is the Jaguar got her ass now y'all giving Jaguar a, 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 a platform on TV that can reach millions and millions and millions and millions of people and then if mainstream media picks this up like they have, okay, that's another situation. Correct me if I'm wrong. It's kind of like TGIF, right? TGIF was a very hot, a very big hot topic here on YouTube. And again, correct me if I'm wrong. Wasn't nobody talking about no TGIF down to E! News? or entertainment tonight 
<laughs> oh, oh, Access Hollywood. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? People talked about it on YouTube. It made, you know, the shade room, I think, maybe, you know, the neighborhood talk. But outside, in the, in, in the grand scope of media, nobody gave a fuck about TGIF like that. We did, right? We were somewhat invested. We paid, we, we, we stuck our head in every now and again, but nobody cared. Jaguar doing interviews, sitting down, having one on ones, phone call, conversations, whatever, whatever, whatever. Girl, it's cute for a little YouTube, right? They don't care about that. But once you take your ass to TV, <laughs> girl, that's a whole nother situation. That's another reason why they shut it down. Because now it can it, it can spread like like a wildfire. They're not gonna go after Jaguar. They can. They can sue. You know, they can sue for defamation. They can sue for, they can sue for slander. They can get in contact with Jaguar and say, keep our fucking name out your mouth. They could. But past that, girl, trying to get any money, it would be pointless. What, I'm not trying to be funny. Jaguar was just in the news the other day for not returning a U-Haul truck, bitch. <laughs> okay? Jaguar ain't got no money, girl. I probably got more money than Jaguar and I ain't got no money. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So... Jaguar is pointless to, for, they going out, it's kind of like the Puff Daddy, because I want y'all to understand what I'm saying. It's kind of like the Puff Daddy situation. They're going after Puff Daddy. They going after the head nigga in charge. They'll probably let everybody else slide, right? We want the nigga, we want the head. We going for the head, right? So Beyonce and Jay-Z, they going for the head. We ain't worried about no Jaguar, right? Girl, we want to come after y'all. Because y'all y'all the one who let that help her up there. And quiet as it's kept, they say peers don't even like black people anyways, allegedly. You really got, girl, J Jag, why you really took your ass up there and stood in front of some white man face who don't even like knuckles, allegedly? Girl, that's another thing. Anyways, I bet you, I, I guarantee you, won't nobody else book any guest on their show when it comes to Jay-Z and Beyonce, especially if they don't have no hardcore evidence, I guarantee you. Hey. Anyways, it is what it is. It's going to be what it's going to be. All right, y'all. Y'all be safe out there. Bye.